road systems, power, clean water, all of those are the planks that have to be laid down in a community. And internet and telecommunications has become a fundamental one. You know, Alaska was first accessed by ship, then by plane, then by road from the lower 48 through Canada. And now this is the next step. Again, it's tremendous to have Alaska on the forefront, cutting edge of technology. We're sort of like landscape architects. What they'll do is they'll go plant out a landscape and they'll plant different types of plants and trees that will grow up over 30 or 50 years and have a particular look to them that when you first plant it and you look at it, you go, I, I just don't see it, but they do. They kind of have that vision that it'll be a landscape for the future. This project, Alaska's first all terrestrial fiber connection, is not only about today's challenges, it's about tomorrow's opportunities. We all live up here, so we care about the state and we care about its future. We want it to be vibrant and healthy and successful and diversified. Having affordable, robust, reliable internet like this is going to provide that opportunity. We've done a lot of work out here, one bringing in Alcan One, we're also doing a lot of work with our MTA Foundation and our scholarships and really investing in technology education. We see that as an important role to our membership and in our community. We're trying to help keep a vibrant community going that is attractive for future generations. We've got something now that has almost unlimited possibilities from a bandwidth capacity standpoint for the state. And it's just gonna be fascinating to watch what the creative minds do with this for the future, how they come up with new ways to use bandwidth that we can't even think about or dream about right now.